So what's popping guys and in today's video i'll show you how you can fully qualify for Berra chain airdrop and we're gonna cover everything beyond the testnet as well so i'm gonna be showing you the nfts how you can deploy a contract and the galaxy so pretty much everything what you need to fully qualify so quickly about Berra chain this is the modular evm compatible l1 blockchain powered by proof of liquidity and they definitely have the capital to play with they have the investors and over 42 million dollar in funding so i'm gonna link all of these guys below if you want to read this in more in detail we're not gonna run the node in this video because there's no point to do that I've seen people tweeting about this, how you can run the note. But the truth about this is you need to be selected to run the note. Otherwise, you're just going to be losing your money. Unless they're going to make it clear and allow everybody to run a note and somehow connect your wallet to the validator that you're going to be running, then in this case, it makes sense. Otherwise, you're going to lose your money if you follow a random guide on Twitter. And recently, they launched the public testnet called Artio. So let me show you what you need to do. So step number one, you'll need to add your testnet network to your MetaMask. So I'm going to link this page down below. So you can click on add testnet and now your metamask is going to pop up and it's going to prompt you to add this network to your metamask so i have that added already so i'm gonna just click cancel but you can click approve so once you do that you will go to your metamask and then you can click on this arrow and you'll see your Berra chain testnet if you are on different networks just make sure you switch it to Berra chain so now you want to go to the faucet and you want to copy your evm address you want to paste this in this field and request some tokens and you can only request 0.1 every eight hours so if that's not enough for you, you can come back after eight hours and request some more. So now the first app we'll use is the bex.perachain and all of these links you can find again down below. So essentially in here, we have certain amount of Berra tokens and we want to request different tokens. So let's say we want to make a swap and we want to get some SDG USDC. So I already have some. So make sure you just swap, for example, like 0.05. Uh, or less than that or you can do 0.01 sometimes you might get an error and your transaction will fail so in case when it happens you want to click on the settings cog and you want to increase your slippage so let's say you want to increase that and set up to 12 then you want to click on the preview and click on the swap and now your metamask should pop up and then you want to basically just click on the confirm the transaction so now we can do another swap and we want to get some honey and also you can get some wrap bitcoin so now i'm gonna make another swap and i want to swap my wrap vera and i will swap it to wrap bitcoin so i'm gonna just set up the setting as it is and then click on the preview and click on the swap button so now i have all of these tokens that i need you will go to the pool section and in here we want to select stg and also vera so the second position you want to click on the add and then i want to swap it from Berra to rub Berra. you can also use this one but i'm just going to use the remaining balance that i have here so let's say you want to use like 10 usdc and then in here we want to use 0.005 and we're going to click on preview so now you will need to approve your usdc to confirm your transaction in your wallet so now once they're done click on add liquidity and confirm your transaction in your metamask wallet so now our liquidity is approved so if you go to bex you'll see that we have some funds already in there of course everything is on testnet so it's free money that you're playing with we can go to website like honey and we can exchange some sdg to honey so let's say we want to use like five and we will basically just approve our token okay so now we got that we can click on the mid button and we're gonna get our honey you want to go to redeem section now and you want to do exactly the same steps so let's say we want to approve honey and now we can click on the redeem button so next up you want to go to our next dub called bend and we want to deposit some wrap bitcoin to it so click on that and we want to select any like small amount we can deposit everything what we've got so then you want to click on approve the bitcoin so now our transaction is confirmed so you will need to click on the supply button and as you can see i'm getting an error so i'm not able to do that but when you're going to supply it then you want to go ahead and you want to go to the borrowers and you want to borrow honey against it so we need to click on this borrow button and borrow maximum amount of honey so now we want to go to burps so make sure you connect your wallet first to the website and then you want to click on start trading so when you click on it you will see the perps trading and here we want to for example long it or short it you can order limit position or market so let's say we want to order market position and now we'll do like 20 uh, to ether and let's say we want to leave it like it is it doesn't really matter what positions you will open or what you're gonna do you just want to make transactions to stretch the network to help the team to develop the chain so once you do that you will click on the place market order but to do that you will need to have a little bit more bearer in your account so you can come back after eight hours and request some more bearer it's not super necessary to do that but basically if you want to test different apps you'll need to have some more bearer to pay for your transactions so next time we want to go to the vault so click on the vault stop and then in here you want to deposit honey 
So let's say we want to deposit one so you'll need to click approve honey so now once that's done you will click on deposit honey and confirm your transaction okay so once it's done you can go to galaxy page and you can complete these simple quests this first one you can see we can click claim and the other one we have a little bit more work to do but it's also really really simple so now when you refresh this page you'll see that we have this quest completed so you can click claim points additionally you can follow up with barrel chain on galaxy so you're not going to miss out any upcoming campaigns so now let me show you how you can actually deploy a contract on barrel chain so you will do basically connect your wallet to third web website then from this list you want to select token and now you want to select deploy now this web is going to pop up and in here you want to select and you want to scroll down and find Bera. you can see Bera chain artio and it will prompt your metamask to switch to Bera chain so we can select any random name like Bera Bera and simply you want to click on deploy now so now we successfully deployed this token so next you want to go ahead and click on the token stop so now you want to click on the mint button and you can mint some tokens so we can do the total supply and you can click mint tokens so now we minted the supply you can burn it you can airdrop it you can transfer it you can mint some more you can do whatever you want with it so now we did our testnet we did galaxy we did contract deployment so let me show you how you can go even one step further and how can you be eligible to get the airdrop and in this post you can see that this guy explains why bears are undervalued this is clear speculation but he has the reasons to believe that five percent of bear supply will be airdropped and split amongst all of different collections so let me just show you now what other collections might potentially qualify you to get the airdrop like for example bond bears boo bears baby bears bond bears and so on so there's a bunch of different collections the prices for these collections are crazy expensive but I found some few of these that might also qualify you uh, for the airdrop where the entry is uh, much cheaper than the top ones. And one of these collections is Tour de Barans. And you can see the collection is at 0.18 Ethereum. And this collection is deployed on Arbitrum, which means there's nothing deployed on Bera, which obviously the mainnet doesn't exist right now. And we can only deploy different contracts that are related to Bera somehow on different chains, like for example, Optimism, Arbitrum or ethereum so this one is created on arbitrum and it's only the speculative bet when it comes to the bearer airdrop distribution the another one that we have the another one that potentially can qualify you for the airdrop is Beramonium chronicles genesis and floor for one of these is 0.07 ethereum there are of course a bunch of different collections like for example you can see on this list we have like honey jar bitbear and so on so there's a ton of ones that probably will qualify you somehow for the airdrop but these collections are not deployed on bearer chain but are deployed on other chains that supports bearer and you can look at the bullishness on twitter like for example last night someone swept 800 000 nfts worth of bearer and you can see how ridiculously high these nfts are and this chain these nfts are getting so much traction and it's highly memeable and it's so popular because nobody can get it but everyone wants to get it everyone wants to get some bearer Everyone wants to get some NFTs, but they are super expensive, so nobody can get them. But everyone would like to get some chunk of Bera tokens. So, for example, a few weeks ago, we had these honeycombs that went from 0.04 Ethereum to 0.7 ETH, Bitburst from 1 to 4, OG Bera Doge from 0.5 to 1.4. So, there's a ton of opportunities in a Bera chain if you can catch them early. So, the another interesting post is from XYZ. And in here you can essentially view different collections and how you can actually get these tokens so for example if you own nfts from honey jar or if you use protocols like stack salmon of course these projects are not live yet they are waiting for the mainnet most likely but it gives you the idea how bera chain works so everyone is building but majority is still waiting for the mainnet to launch and for example you have applications like hibernation which is the auto compounder on bera chain that will maximize your meme coin gains and there are a ton of other different games like for example Beratone, which showcase that there's a ton of different builders ready to build on Bera. so personally i really like Bera because it's highly memeable there's a ton of builders building on Bera, and the attention on crypto twitter is going to be much larger than let's say ziki sync because people like memes and who controls the memes controls everything and if you guys found this video useful let me know in a comment down below what you think about this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one